Hey friends, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's safe and healthy. First of all, I'm happy to announce that my new EP is out on Reface Italy. It's a label that I really like and it's really active on the scene. So I'm really proud to be out to release music on this label. If you want to check out the P, you can find it on Beatport. And if you want to buy the tracks to support the label and myself, I'd be really happy. So a few weeks ago I was reached out by Loopmaster and I think everybody know what Loopmaster is and they asked me to try out their software LoopCloud and share my experience with it. So in order to do that I decided to try to make a micro house track from scratch using their sound so we can see together how the software works and what kind of sounds we can find on it. Now, this video happens to be in the right time of the year because Beatport just teamed up with Luke Cloud, Isotope, Plugin Boutique, Roland Cloud and Lander to create this Beatport Producer Challenge, which is a contest in which you just have to make a track, submit it to one of 10 genres se selected by Beatport. You can find them here and we have also house, minimal and deep tech and tech house, so we're fully covered. They will pick five winners from each genre and among the other prizes you will have your track released and promoted on Beatport and one year Loop Cloud Studio subscription. Now, apart from winning, I think this is a good chance to make new music, to challenge yourself, to respect a deadline. In fact, entries run up to May 11th, 2020. And also a good chance to try out Loop Cloud since to join the contest, you will have to sign up to the 30 days free trial for Loop Cloud. Oh, and I was almost forgetting that for the new Loop Cloud subscribers, you have four complete sample packs that you can download for free to start your track for the contest. If you want to know more about this challenge, I link down this page in the description of the video. So before starting with the track, what's Loop Cloud then? Loop Cloud is a software that allows you to download and manage the sounds from Loop Masters. And the main difference between Loop Cloud and Loop Masters website is that on Loop Cloud, you don't need to buy the whole sample pack, but you can audition every single sound in the pack and then just download the sounds that you like and then that fit with your track. Also, to choose better your sounds, you can link Loop Cloud to your DAW. You just need to open this plugin from Loop Masters in your MIDI track. And now, if you hit play on Ableton and then hit play on Loop Cloud, the track will be synced to your DAW. In fact, you can see here that it's written connected to Ableton Live. So the tempo informations are received from uh, Ableton Live. Also, you have a lot of powerful editing tools. Last but not least, we have the feature that gives Loop Cloud his name and it's the cloud storage where you can upload all your sample collection and have access to it from anywhere. This is a really cool feature also because there, there's people like me that always have problems with their hard drive storage. So it's cool to have a cloud space where you can store your samples. So when you first sign up on Loop Cloud, you will have 30 days to try out for free the studio version with all its features. You will also have 300 points to use on any sounds you want in the store. And these points will stay yours even if you decide to cancel after the 30 days trial. You will also have 25 free sounds every day that you can choose between the sounds selected by the Loop Cloud team. You can search from them just typing in the search bar free and maybe other tags to find sounds that are more close to your taste. And yeah, so at the end of the month, you will have more than a thousand new sounds in your library. So this is, a, this is pretty cool, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, so now it's time to make music. Let's get it started. So the only thing I think I'll, I'll do not with Loop Cloud is the bass line because I, I want to try to do a bass line with uh, my modular system. So first of all, I want to download an 808 kick. This is a 909, actually, I like it. I can try this micro house kick too. Let's let's look for analog. I like this one. It's labeled like drum and bass, but 
I think we can do something with this one. Okay, this one as well. This, this pack is really cool. Ooh. Okay, man, I want you to take a look at the whole package because I think there could be something really interesting, really interesting inside of this. So let's take a look at what we have from Abstract Sound. They are friends from Italy, so I definitely want to support them. Okay, this is kind of nice. This could be nice in the background. There's a voice here, so it can be warped and create something rhythmic. You can try this. Like this top. So before diving into Ableton, I just want to use, to try to use the editor inside Loop Cloud to show you what we can do just uh, staying inside loop cloud. I just seen that Bushwaka um, uh, park is out so I'll, I'll try to find something inside this park but first of all I want to create a kick loop just to have an idea of the tempo to build uh, to build things over it so uh, this this kick is really good okay. like this. Now let's look for something on Bushwaka. So let's first try some patterns, a random pattern. Oh, this is really nice. For example, this is a scene trans arp too, so this arpeggio is thought for a, for a synth, but as you can see, um, it was so good on the hi-hats. We could try to make it longer so we don't have these jumps. This sounds way more natural. So now let's move to track three and I want to keep this the same loop to see we, if we can do something more with this. Duplicate. Okay, that's okay. Oh, yeah. this is really nice. Track four. Let's delete everything. Okay. So now we need some more percussion. So let's go to our long hair friend. Holy shit. We could divide this into many tracks. So we divide the parts that we like, so...
have the last track available, track eight, and I want to look for another um, percussive loop to use in Bushwaka Park. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, so let's try to work on this. So that's the button to solo the track. I discovered it now. Seems just in tune with the track. So let's try to add an auto filter to high pass the low frequencies. So we get rid of the lower parts and we just keep the middle and high frequencies. That sounds good to me. I want to change a little bit this part. I want to clean it a little bit because this snare is a little bit too much, a little bit too loud. So let's see what we can do. I'll paste this sound here, which is like a gentler snare, and we paste it there. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Wow. So groovy. Okay, now we can both uh, copy and paste to live the entire loop, so we all the parts, just taking the process file and dragging there the file, or we can uh, drag and drop the single loops, just soloing the track and then doing the same thing. So that's it. It sounds really good to me. Um, so, as you can see, this is a good way to try ideas and create really, really advanced things because the loops where we started from were completely different in some, in some cases. It's a really powerful tool and you can get really creative uh, trying out things on this edit tool. So, you definitely need to try it. Let's start from the drum rack. So now I'd like to start from an atmosphere, something that helps me to, to understand in which scale we're in. And so to build then the bass line around it, I found out this sound. Here. So now we can try to slice it. I'll try to add this Maxful Live device, which is the probabilistic sequencer from Alex Kid. Thanks Alex for sending me these sequencers. They are crazy good and they really help to come up with ideas. You can randomize things, so. Now we can randomize the pitch A. Probability. I found a nice combination. I've reduced a little bit the sensitivity, so now there are more slices. I also reduced the uh, the ha the envelope and the mode. to resample this so I can try to stretch something see what happens here's what I did in a couple hours trying out things 
So basically what I did was to take the sequencer here. I put a filter control with an envelope. Then I resampled it and I stretched. So I doubled the length of the loop. So it, it, it sounds a little bit loose. And this is it. And then I have another one. It's not stretched apart from some little parts. Like here I stretched a little bit this note, I think. But then I applied a corpus and a delay. So this is the original one. This is with the FX. So the combination of these two. Let's go to <clears throat> some percussions and then some snare. Here we go. So I'm, I'm building my drum rack as you can see. So uh, I want to change the kick now because I don't like the one I chose before. I chose earlier. Let's lay down some grooves now. Let's, let's load some groove, 60. Going to apply a little delay maybe, tempo. Maybe let's add some more so just just look at this background the difference that it makes it feels the track a little bit it's time for the bass line so let's see what we can do with the bass. So I still have no idea how to make the bass line. So let's connect my Faithful plots and let's hope it helps me a little bit to, to come up with something nice. Uh, pitch goes to voltage per octave. And gate goes to trigger. So why can't I hear anything? Tell me, tell me quando, quando, quando. To make the bass line, I'm sending the MIDI signal from Ableton to the Arturia Beatster Pro, then to Platz, and then Platz is coming back to my uh, computer in audio. So let's try to do something.
So I like this bass line. Try to record one part uh, with all the same release, and then we'll try to record something, some modulation. So let's record the first one. We're going to use this modulation on the timber, just a tiny bit. Uh, the release I want to control it by hand because I want the release to to open only on this note. Let's add some th some more stuff. Okay, this is a nice this is a nice loop. I I just like this part. So Cut this. Okay. Let's put a uh, grain delay. You see that you start from loops taken from loop cloud, and then you cut small pieces, and you can obtain some cool, cool stuff. I'd like to add an upright piano sample. To make it better, I think it's a good idea to add uh, a nice reverb. And then we take the same, we double it so we have the same effect, but we throw in the lower note so it sounds better. And that's it, so I think we have a structure. I think we have some ideas thrown down on the paper. I think it could be a nice track if refined a little bit more. Yes, I like it. Ah. Oh.
Okay guys, so I'm pretty happy of how the initial idea turned out. As you can see, and as I told you in many of my videos, I always try to I always try to use samples in the more in the most creative way possible. So I try to change the sound as much as I can. So at the end of the process, the loop is don't recognizable. So I can't even recognize the loop where I started from. Loop Cloud is a perfect tool to find the samples from Loop Masters because the software helps you to find the, the sounds that you want. The search bar is really, really uh, effective. So you just type the, the keywords, the, the key, the scale, and, and it finds the, the sounds that you want. If you want to try out for free Loop Cloud, if you want to join the contest, all the links are in the description of the video. And let me know what you think. Let me know if you uh, like the track that I made. I'll try to finish the truck and to join the contest as well uh, myself and yeah guys thanks for watching let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video cheers